All right, let us go over our homemade NMR machine. So this is your workstation. On the right side, I have our magnetic coils. So right here, I have a pair of a set of coils that will provide the strong magnetic field along this axis. And then I have a probe. The probe looks like this one. So there is also a set of coils that will provide the modulating field, the weak field along this axis. And there is a set of coils that you may be able to see also that's perpendicular to this coil. And this is the RF field coil. All right, we have also a magnetic field probe, which is actually a hole probe. So I will try to look at this. Okay, so you see this flat probe, it works via the hole effect. So if you remember the hole effect, you take a conducting material. So this is a conductor and then you establish a current between these two terminals here so let's say you have plus here so that the electrons will travel in this direction and the electrons are travel, traveling to that side and the current is going into this direction so if you apply if you have a magnetic field that's pointing outward here so you have a magnetic field let's say pointing this direction here you know that there is a Lorentz term for the force so it's called the Lorentz force where the force is equal to Q V vector B where Q is the charge so for an electron the charge is minus E the elementary charge and this becomes a vectorial product between uh, v, the velocity vector of the electrons, and the magnetic field. So if the magnetic field is pointing in this direction, by the right hand rule, um, the force will be pointing in the opposite direction. So the electrons will experience a force into this direction, and that will cause the electrons to deflect to this side so that this will be negatively charged charged and here you have a positive charge distribution and that will create a voltage between these two terminals and then you can pick up you can measure this voltage and that's how you can sense the field because the amount of charges or the voltage here will depend on the strength or the magnitude of this magnetic field. So that's the flat probe, which we can check. This is the, we can check here on the sensor. And if I, I have this 1.82 kilogauss magnet, so if I place a magnet here, I'm measuring there 1.83, it's very close. If I change the side, then the electrons will be reflected. Uh, I will change the polarity, so this will become minus, as you see there. 
All right, so let's put this back. So the sensor has to be has to be set perpendicular to this uh, to the field to the strong field. So we have to set this up here, and then we will rotate this later.